So, episode 15 takes us on the road to face off against Kyrie Irving and the Cleveland Cavaliers. You know, I was really kind of excited about this game just due to the fact that Kyrie is one of my favorite point guards in the NBA, favorite young point guards, that is. This guy has superstar potential. Oh, what are you doing, Kyrie? I'm giving you props, but I'm still swatting those shots. Get the heck out of here. <laughs> Bringing the ball up court against Kyrie, going right around him. Oh, double clutch, could have jammed it on him, but they fouled me. Verizal, come on, man, you can't hack me like that. First free throw's good. And the second free throw rattles in. You know, my free throw release has really been off the last few games. I have no idea what's wrong. I need to go and practice that somehow. And as you can probably tell by now, by the video's title, that's eventually going to come back to bite me in the end of the game. But uh, yeah, it's a little spoiler for you. But anyway, they're giving me the ball at the top of the key. I'm bullying my way through. Verjao's not swatting as I go up with a nice left-handed layup. 13 points in the night. Top of the key driving on Kyrie. High off the backboard. We'll take that. Let's go. 15-11. Got to get back on D. Oh, give me that steal. Let's run this. Let's run this. Two on one. Oh, come on, man. What kind of pass is that, Turner? So I let the defense get back down and reset. That's garbage. Uh-oh, pump fake. Drive to the basket. Underhand scoop layup. We'll take that. 17-11. They're double teaming me. Looking for somewhere to go with it. Dropping the dime to the cutting man on the baseline. Richardson with the layup. Next possession. Oh, dropping another dime. Wide open. There it is. My teammates are finally making plays for me. They haven't been all year, but they're finally starting to convert some of these open looks. About time, and I can get in the assist category. And for those that are wondering, my voice is a little raspy because I literally woke up about 20 minutes ago. It's about 6 a.m., maybe 10 minutes after 6 a.m. But anyway, I'm doing this at the crack of dawn for you guys, showing my dedication. That's just how I do it. <laughs> it's going to be a crazy day for me. So I'm not really going to have too much time this afternoon to go on ahead and do it after work. So I just want to get this out the way and not, you know, stall in the episodes for you guys. But as you can see, those assists keep stacking up. That's four on the night. Oh, I'm going ISO, man. Step back and pull that all day. They're going to give me space like that? Come on, Kyrie. Taking you off the dribble again. And I'm bashing with the left-handed tomahawk jam on the side of the rim. So nice. And converting the and one free throw. Converted and one. Give me 28 points. Going right around Kyrie again. Oh, and the double clutch jam on Verizal. Oh, pump fake. Oh, handles. Oh, <laughs> the jam on top of it. Shook the hell out of dude with the pump fake, crossed him over, went behind the back, and then jammed it. Oh, there's three seconds to go. One, pulling up. Cash at the buzzer. At the buzzer. Let's go up six. Come on, no, make that happen. Oh, don't lose the dang ball. But Richardson recovers. Less than three go, and it's off. Come on, fellas. Just when I gave you props, man, you guys are letting me down. That's what I'm talking about, Spencer. Dropping the ball down the post, letting Spencer go to work. He might get some more work later. Tried to give it to him there, but he kicked it out to Richardson at the top of the key, who makes up for the missed three. Wide open, pass to assist. Give me those extra points. Oh, come on now. Kyrie, you just know I'm coming right in at you with the left-handed layup. 39 points on the night. Oh, getting walled off by the double team. Got to give it up to Richardson. Richardson to Hawes. Hawes over to Turner. Look at the ball movement. I'm trying to get over there and get the ball back, but they're not letting me do it. Turner passes to the post to Hawes. I'm still trying to get the ball. And then Hawes turns the damn ball over. Come on, man. And they're out on the break. I can't catch up. So it's a tie game. 84 all. Two minutes and 19 seconds to go. But I respond with the double clutch jump shot. 86-84. Got to get back on D. We need to stop here. We cannot let these cats crawl back into this game. They go down to Verge on the post. Oh, and the strip. Let's run it. Let's run it. Let's run it. Come on, Richardson, give up the ball. They don't give it to me for some reason. And then Young tries a spin move and goes in and throws a clanker off of the left side of the backboard. So now I'm back on defense trying to stop the fast break. And I'm just out of position. Kyrie has a good look, but he misses it. Richardson grabs the board, finally gives it up to me. I've seen enough of this, man. You already know. I'm pulling that. Cash, three-pointer, launched from around the corner, up by five. 50 seconds to go, driving in, trying to bully my way in, but they foul me. So I'm in decent shape, I think, here, right? I'm at the free throw line. First free throw's good. Second free throw is a clanker. Come on, dude. Crunch time, you cannot miss free throws like that. 
My timing, my release for my free throw is just terrible. And Kyrie makes me pay for the horrible, horrible defense by cashing in a three on his own. So our next possession, instead of going into Mamba mode, I try to get my teammates more involved. And of course they let me down. So now I'm back on defense. We need to stop here. We're only up two. I'm d up on Irving. But somebody forgot their assignment left Jack wide open at the top of the key. Fortunately, it was only two. So I get one crack to win the game at the buzzer. Good look. Oh, I just missed it. The timing of the release felt good. I thought that was going to drop. But you know, overtime is where I really got to come out and do my thing. I can't sit back and be passive aggressive. I can't try to get my teammates that much involved because obviously they don't really want to play right now. So look at the defense on Irving. He is not going anywhere except for right there and he just goes around me. <laughs> but I had him stopped at the top of the key. Oh, look at Turner running the break. Oh, he stopped up. Noah passes me the ball. I'm going right around Verjao because there's nobody there. Oh, that should have been an and one. These free throws are critical. First free throw is good. Up 103, 102. Second free throw is off. Oh my goodness gracious, that might cost us in the long run. 22 seconds left, need defense. Kyrie Irving is fast as hell, man. It is hard to stay in front of this dude. Fortunately, he misses the layup. I grab the board, get sent back to the free throw line. First free throw is, ugh, man, it's good, but it was ugly. That thing rattled around every part of the rim possible. Second free throw also good, but still rattles around the rim. Gotta practice those free throws. So we're up three, Cavs have the ball. And keep your eye on Nerlens Noel right there. Why does he set a screen for Kyrie giving him a wide open jump shot? Inbounding the ball to try to get it to me and the pass is stolen. Oh no, this could be horrible. Jack throws up a shot, but he misses it. We grab the board. Ooh, seven seconds to go. Putting Evan Turner at the free throw line. And he clanks the first free throw. Pressure's too much for Evan Turner. Misses the first free throw. Misses the second free throw. Oh my goodness, they can win this. Get back on defense. Four seconds to go, three seconds to go. Fortunately, they're not pushing the ball, and Jack just throws it up from half court. So I win 105-104. Should have probably lost that game. But anyway, we'll take the W, even though it's ugly. Let's hit up this press conference. Coach, you endured a very impressive game from the chosen one. What did you think stood out about his performance tonight? I thought, uh, obviously, uh, the difference in the game. I thought he stepped up and, and he made plays. He imposed his will on the game and, and, and he made plays, uh, especially when it counted in the fourth quarter. Hey, man, what's up? You got a minute? Yeah, sure. What's going on? You've been really balling lately, dude. I think the coach made the right move letting you start. It gives us the best chance to win moving forward. Thanks. I'm just trying to do everything I can to show coach and you guys that I deserve this spot. No doubt, man. No doubt. I think me and you have a chance to do big things in the next level, though. Kind of like Malone and Stockton, Bird and McHale. You know, we have a chance to do this right. I think you and I really have that kind of vibe. Yo, I cannot argue with that. If we can get anywhere close to the level of success those guys had, woo, that'd be amazing. Right, but in order to make that happen, I need you to embrace more of a sidekick role. If you can't do that right, then things won't be easy. Man, so I'm faced with a real dilemma right here. I'm trying to keep that rapport going with my teammates, but also I want to show them that I'm not no sucker. I'm just going to bow down or whatever. So what should I do here? Do whatever it takes or come back with the reply that I'm not a sidekick. I'm already leading the NBA in scoring right now, and a lot of people on Twitter are calling me the MVP for the league. So this is what I decided to do. Yeah, for sure. Hey, I'm down to do whatever it takes. Great, that's what I'm talking about. So here's what I'm thinking. Next game, keep feeding me the rock as much as you can. You'll get yours too, of course, but when it makes sense. I really want to see how much mileage we can get out of this, and make sure that defense is your top priority. I can hold it down on offense. All right, hey, I'll do my best. Like I said, I'm just trying to win some games. Good. I think this will be the best chance for us to do that, while at the same time giving you an opportunity to elevate your game to a whole new level. Yo, you know I'm down with that. That's what I'm talking about, dog. I'll see you at practice, all right? All right, man. Later. Yeah, I'm not too sure how well that's going to work out. I'm definitely nobody's sidekick. The way that I'm taking over games right now, I'm a superstar in my own right. So Evan Turner might be a little bit disappointed. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I thought I would give it a shot just to see what happens. Trying to keep that rapport on a good level with my teammates and whatnot. 
But as you can see, folks, we've come to that time once again. I want to thank you all for tuning in and checking out this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Make sure you do me a favor and click that like button. Also, click that subscribe here button if you're not subscribed yet. And also, don't forget to share this video because that's the only way the video is actually going to get out there and gain some traction. So I appreciate everything that you guys have been doing. Thank you for tuning in once again. That's my time, and I'll see you all in the next video.